Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I hope that all of you are having a wonderful day so far but today's video I'm actually going to try out new dollar store products and I have a lot to go over so definitely grab a drink or a snack because I'm pretty sure this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual. But the first product that I want to go over is from the brand LA Colors. So you guys know I love their moisturizing lip glosses. They're so beautiful on the lips and very moisturizing. So this one is actually called Happiness. It's a very light pink color with a bunch of gold glitter and honestly it reminds me of the one that is called Just Kiss. It might be a little bit lighter but still it's very similar to be completely honest with you guys like the lipstick that I'm wearing right now is so drying and that is the reason why I want to put on this lip gloss first but I would love to know if you guys have found the lip plumpers at your dollar store I actually tried those out a couple of days ago so if you missed that video definitely check it out and for some reason I'm kind of struggling opening up this lip gloss. So I finally got the lip gloss out of the packaging thank goodness but I have my mirror from the dollar store right here it's so pretty I love the detailing on it hopefully you can see it I feel like the lighting is kind of harsh but anyways let me go ahead and put this on my lip and this lipstick is super drying and I know this lip gloss is really going to save my lips right now. I feel like my lips are cracking and everything. It's not a good feeling whatsoever and I like to smell the lip glosses for you guys as well. So it smells really good. It smells like a vanilla cupcake and most of their lip glosses actually smell very fruity. So this one might actually be a different formula. Hopefully it's more moisturizing but we will see and I'm hoping that the glitter shows up more as well. So far I can see the glitter a lot. There's a lot of gold glitter and silver. I don't know if you guys can see it from there. Hopefully you can and it's very very moisturizing you guys highly recommend so I'm pretty sure if I wear a new pink lipstick instead of hot pink you're really going to see the gold glitter and I can't believe I can still see with this neon pink lipstick I think it's beautiful and I have gold eyeshadow on my eyes right now so it really complements the lip gloss and I'm seriously obsessed with this color so if you see happiness and just kiss just get the happiness because you are going to love the gold glitter and I'm definitely going to pair this with a new pink lipstick but I don't recommend you guys putting a lip gloss over a dark lipstick because the color will transfer back into the tube and then over time the color will change and I'm kind of sad that I just put this over a dark pink lipstick and I know it's not going to be this like really pretty pink it's going to turn it like a darker pink so I recommend you guys using like a new pink lipstick or just wear it on its own it's so beautiful and you probably can see where it's turning pink right there like a dark pink so I'm really sad hopefully I can find this one again because it is very moisturizing so moving on to the LA colors lipstick so I got the color bright pink and very red so I want to swatch bright pink first because I think it's really pretty for this spring and summertime but I would love to know your opinion in the comment section down below and I think it's going to look really pretty with that pink lip liner but anyways on the packaging it says that there's vitamin E and aloe vera and that's probably the reason why it feels so good on the lips like if your lips are dry right now then you're going to love these lipsticks I'm not even kidding but every time I see a new color I always grab it because I want every single one in my collection but I would love to know the colors that you found recently at your dollar store and I also love the packaging too so it's white and clear so you can see like what color you're grabbing and I recommend you guys getting the clear makeup bags because if you buy makeup that has clear packaging it's really easy to grab your favorite but anyways let me go ahead and swatch this on my hand and I'm definitely going to be wearing this one tomorrow and that lip gloss that I also showed you guys earlier is going to look really pretty over this lipstick so I hope that you guys find this color at your dollar store because it's really pretty like I'm actually very impressed and it's not too bright of a pink that's going to wash you out it's seriously a beautiful everyday pink now it's time to swatch berry red so on the packaging it's actually showing a dark brown color and usually their dark lipsticks show up very light and they actually end up looking pink which is so weird but hopefully this one is a true dark lipstick but if it's not then I can just wear it during the summer you know so here's very red you guys and it's actually showing up more red than brown which is so weird I thought it was going to be a true dark brown color but I think it's a gorgeous shade of red what do you guys think and honestly I can see myself wearing this like all year round it's really pretty and hopefully I can find a lip liner to match this but I love it so much I don't have a shade of red like this in my collection so I'm actually very happy that I picked this up if you see this new color you have to get it you won't regret it so moving on to the lip liner so I actually bought two of them and I'm very excited about this color right here so it's called totally pinkish and I have the matching lipstick to go with it and the totally pinkish lipstick is so creamy and so pigmented so if you see it definitely get the lipstick and the lip liner I know it's going to apply rough at first because that's what happened to the other lip liner and after the second use it was very smooth and it just reminded me of a very expensive lip liner like at least $10 you know but here's a closer look of totally pinkish very beautiful I think it's definitely an everyday color but let me go ahead and open this one up and show you guys a swatch actually before I open up the lip liner I just have to show you guys the matching lipstick so here's a closer look of pinkish I think it's so beautiful but as you guys can see the lip liner is a lighter pink than the lipstick so hopefully I can make this work we will see and I think this color is gorgeous you guys I'm seriously obsessed with it so I'm just putting the swatch right here and then I'll just put the lip liner underneath so we can see like the true color of 
have both but this shade of pink is gorgeous you guys and I think it's going to look really good with a tan as well but let me go ahead and open up the lip liner and just compare the color hopefully it's really close but just based off the packaging honestly I think it's going to be a little bit too light it's not going to be like the true match but usually you can make it work so as you guys can see the lip liner isn't matching the lipstick I feel like the lip liner is a very bright pink color and the other one is a little bit lighter but I have a lot of bright lipsticks that will match this lip liner so I guess I can't complain but honestly I was hoping that these two would be a perfect combo but I'm pretty sure you can still make it work what do you guys think just let me know in the comment section down below so the next one that I picked up is called bear with me which is a really pretty color too and I'm pretty sure many of you guys are also going to love this color and I have a lot of lipsticks this color you guys I think it's really pretty during the fall time but I'm still going to use this during the summer as well and I think all of their lip liners are nice so if you can spend the five dollars and go get the whole entire collection you're not going to regret it and I just realized they didn't have the matching lipstick to go with it but I think these two will actually go well but we will see what ends up happening I'm going to swatch these two lipsticks and the lip liner but the problem with the dark lipsticks that I just grabbed is that it shows more pink so I'm pretty sure this lip liner might show more pink we will so this lipstick color is called teddy bear and I think it's really pretty but you guys probably remember that it would barely show up on the lips so you have to go over it multiple times and if you don't go over it multiple times then it's going to feel more like a lip balm which is totally fine these are really moisturizing which I love let me go ahead and swatch the next one so this one is actually called XOXO and I know for a fact that it shows up more pink but it's a really pretty shade of pink I promise so as you guys can see it's more pink than dark brown and on the packaging it's showing a dark brown color so please don't pick this up thinking it's a dark brown lipstick it's a true pink lipstick so right now I'm just hoping that the lip liner looks very similar to this lipstick so as you guys can see it's showing up more pink than brown which is totally fine with me so it's going to look really good with this lipstick and I'm probably going to wear these two tomorrow we will see so if you like this combo too the lipstick is called XOXO and the lip liner is bear with me I think it's definitely worth two dollars and these are going to last me forever I feel like but honestly I think you guys should definitely pass on teddy bear because it's not pigmented and pinkish is really pretty I'm just not sure if the lip liner is going to go well with it so moving on to the palette this one is actually called sunset break and you guys probably remember whenever I tried out the purple and pink eyeshadow for only a dollar it's really pretty and was so pigmented but I'm pretty sure this one is going to be pretty pigmented because it has dark shadows like there's a dark purple dark brown and there's a dark orange which is so beautiful for the summertime so I can't wait to give this one a go so I'm just going to swatch all the colors and then I'm probably going to try this out in a morning routine video so definitely stay tuned so this palette just closes like this which is perfect to travel with and if it breaks you know what you only paid a dollar and it's replaceable so I highly recommend you guys picking up your favorite products and just stocking up just in case it does break you know but anyways here's a closer look of the shadows so I love this dark purple color and the brown color right next to it is gorgeous I see some glitter and the reason why I picked it up is because of the orange color I love to use orange shadows like this during the summertime so let me go ahead and swatch the purple one first it actually feels so creamy and just so buttery and it's actually very pigmented as you guys can see so it's actually showing up like a light pink color which is really weird I was hoping that it was more pigmented and the other palette that I tried out had a lot of dark purple shadows and it was a true purple so I'm actually kind of disappointed with this one but let me go ahead and swatch it again so here's the second swatch you guys and it's actually very beautiful I recommend you guys wetting your brush if you want to get the true pigmentation but I think it's definitely beautiful for only a dollar but I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below but if you're looking for a purple and pink eyeshadow palette then you have to get the other one because I only swatched it once and it looked like this. and here is the dark brown color so once again it's showing up like a lighter brown which is so disappointing let me go over it one more time so I'm still trying to get better with swatches but as you guys can see it's still not very pigmented and I see a bunch of gold glitter which is really pretty so I don't think it's going to look good even if you wet your brush but you never know but moving on to the lighter brown color and this one is barely showing up and I'm honestly not shocked because this brown color wasn't showing up so moving on to the gold glitter one and once again it's not showing up either so far this eyeshadow palette is not impressive whatsoever but I told you guys that I bought this eyeshadow palette for the orange eyeshadow so if it's a hit then I guess I can't complain for a dollar and the purple shadow is really pretty but now that I'm looking at it again it's showing more pink because there is a lot of pink glitter so please keep that in mind if you are looking for a purple shadow you are definitely going to be disappointed and the dark brown eyeshadow is actually very pigmented so there's a total of six shadows and three of them actually work so I think it's definitely worth a dollar and I'm definitely going to wet my brush for this palette because it's not as pigmented as the other one that I swatched a couple of days ago so if you missed that video definitely check it out but I love the fact that it does come with a little mirror and it just closes like this so it's super small now it's time to move on to the lip balm so this one is supposed to smell like tropical coconut and there's vitamin E and aloe which is so good 
good for the lips and I'm pretty sure it's going to be moisturizing and some of you guys actually told me you love this brand a lot so I'm actually pretty excited about it but I'm not going to try this on the lips right now I will try this out in my morning routine video and this smells amazing you guys so it actually reminds me of one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works and now that I'm thinking about candles I have to order some stuff on Bath and Body Works tonight but anyways if you like the smell of coconuts and you're looking for a lip balm for the summertime then you're going to love this for only a dollar I think the original price for this brand is three dollars at Walmart or Target but I could be wrong now it's time to talk about the mascara so I recently picked up this one right here and it's waterproof that is the reason why I bought it and I always use waterproof mascaras during the summertime and I got the one with the purple packaging and honestly it didn't do anything for my lashes but if you wear fake eyelashes then you can use pretty much any mascara but hopefully this waterproof one gets the job done but the reason why I'm opening it right now is so I can show you the wand so just by looking at the wand I feel like it's really going to lift your eyelashes if you don't want to wear fake eyelashes but I will give this one a go in my morning routine video as well so definitely stay tuned and I also have a bunch of skincare products that I have to review in my morning or night routine but anyways the packaging is so pretty everything is pink which makes me so happy but anyways I would love to know what you are going to buy the next time you go to the dollar store but that is going to be it for this one I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up for me and I'll talk to you guys more in the next one